What is up, everybody? Welcome back to, I believe, episode 13 or 14 of our Minecraft Let's Build series. And today, I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys, and I'm really excited. So, I hope you guys stick around and enjoy this episode. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Build series, and today everything we have to show you guys is over here in this area. Uh, what I was going to talk about last episode but I never did because I don't know what was going on with me. Um, basically, I've been trying to think of new ideas to do with this world and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you guys prefer me doing it the way I have been, where I'll just go ahead and build this stuff off screen and then show you guys what I have built and stuff on the actual episode or if you'd like to see me do a little bit of building in the episodes um, I'm not a very uh, talkative person when I'm building I kinda get really zoned out and stuff so I don't know how it's gonna work out but we'll, we'll see whatever you guys think if you're enjoying what you're seeing now um, I've got a lot of positive feedback about what I'm doing now so we'll just go ahead and see but uh, today we are brought to the iron farm oh yeah everybody says it looks like Squidward because it kinda looks I, I really don't see it, but, um, so let's go ahead and, oh, we have a little bit of iron in here. That is sad, but we have a bunch of flowers, though. Okay, so let's go around to the back. So, basically, that chest was filling up a lot. When I had it running for a long period of time, it was filling up a lot. So, I needed a place to store all of that beautiful iron. So, I made the iron storage room underneath it. And, ooh, you like that mossy cobblestone, don't you? Yeah. So, okay, anyway, if we go down here, this is where we store our iron at. So, if you are on this world, or you're just curious, like, he has an iron farm. Why doesn't he have any iron? This is where it's all at. So, yes. A lot of these are empty. This is just for future stuff. I built this pretty recently. So, that is why this is here. And, yeah, it helps that a lot, because I don't have to stress about that thing overflowing and trying to find some random chest to put everything in, and, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, uh, let's go, that's all I want to show you guys here. Uh, yeah, quick right on now. Uh, let's show you guys what's kind of going on with the towers a little bit. Uh, I got another tower completely finished. Uh, what was happening is I did have the wheat stuff in this one with the where the potatoes are at now and what was happening is that whenever the I would harvest the wheat I would get like a fraction of what I was supposed to for some reason I don't know if they're just glitching out in that spot of the map or what was going on but I have potatoes here now and you can see it's on because I was showing somebody my world and I used it all so that is why that is but this is the oh look at that this is the uh, wheat one though and uh, I don't think I've ever harvested this one before. I'm still trying to get seeds and stuff, I think. So yeah, this one is going good. And then the next one will be the uh, the carrot farm I'll be doing. Over there. Oh my god, no. Okay, let's just drop down before we die. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's just get out of here. So this is the wheat farm. Uh, the carrot farm should be coming up. Next few episodes we'll be having that done. And then uh, we'll be building the center storage room, and I'm so freaking excited about that. Because we'll be able to access all of these. These doors won't be here anymore. We'll be able to access all of these underground. I think I actually showed it. I did not. But there'll be like a little underground uh, walkway right here that'll lead to it. And at a push of a button inside of here, we'll be able to activate any one of these that we want anyone so it will be it will be awesome I'm so excited about that guys um so I got a couple more things to show you guys um, one is this beautiful little house right here yeah I don't think I've showed you guys this before yet so we're gonna check that out but first I went ahead and made a cocoa bean farm because over in my oh we gotta say hi to Jeb the magical changing sheep yeah I'm trying to make a sheep farm uh, but I had like eight of them in there and they all disappeared I, 
I don't know if maybe somebody... Oh, there's probably two of them right there. Okay. But anyway, I made a cocoa bean farm because I needed a lot of brown stained glass for my house up there. Oh, that's not my house. Over there. And so I needed a lot of cocoa beans. So I went ahead and made this. I know it's not the most efficient looking, beautiful looking thing in the world. But it helped me with what I needed to do. I'm going to make it a lot better. I'll probably just make a whole flat wall of just the jungle wood and put the beans on it. Because right now it's not really space effective as you can see. But I really just need a spot to put it. So this is where the cocoa bean farm will be going. I'll be making it pretty cool in the future. Uh, just right now I just kind of need some temporary. So I just built that. Uh, okay. So the last thing I want to show you guys. This episode is going to be pretty short. After we show you this. But this is kind of cool. And I'm really excited about it. And this is the skeleton XP farm. Yes. And just looking at it. Sorry, excuse me. Just looking at it, you would not think this is any. Oh, God. Take that back. Okay, we just walked in. Oh, look, nothing. <laughs> Nothing's here. So, just walking into it, you wouldn't think anything of this. You just think this is a cool little home, which it is kind of cool. It has everything you pretty much need uh, here to just, you know, do whatever you need to do. Uh, so, it's kind of a cute little cozy home, but it has a secret. BAM! I'll bring a lot of my friends in here and I'll show them this and I'm like, check out my XP for them. They're like, oh, there's nothing in here. It's a house, Michael. And I'm like, oh yeah, flip that switch. So anyway, if we go down here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a really weird mood today. I don't know what it is. So if we go down here, um, and that, just a little side note, I can't tell you how many of them have tried to harvest that iron. Ah, oh, Jesus, so frustrating. So here's just random stuff. I have an anvil down here just in case you're sword breaks which I do have a sword lobby and this crafting table and stuff and oh yes so anyway I have a spawner right there a skeleton spawner and I'll turn it on the heart in a minute so I can show you guys but basically they spawn drop down their filter down to this very edge and all I have to do is just sit here kill them and I get all their beautiful XP um, so this is all I had at first. I didn't have this other place right here. I'll show you guys in a second. This is all I had, but as soon as I quickly realized that I was getting so much stuff, I need somewhere to put it. So I made this chest, and then I'm really OCD, so I was like, ah, oh, it needs to be organized. So I made this room. So basically this room has all the bones, all the arrows, all the random bows that I get, and I get a lot, and then all the armor that they drop. And you can see I get a lot. Um, if I get some stuff I do not need, I throw it in here. And it burns it. Because um, there's some bows I get that are like already almost broken, like all these. I probably need to go through here. So I'll do that. A uh, little crafting table. Uh, red stained glass. I don't know why I keep doing that. My enchanting room, which is not finished. So just ignore this. Because <laughs> I get a lot of XP, so I just kind of use that to enchant... Uh, my different pickaxes and stuff like that. And this is going to the man cave, which that is a future project. Um, oh god, I'm so excited about that, guys. So excited about that, but that's going to be in the future. Uh, probably episode 25, something like that. Not sure which I'm doing first, Ancient Greece or that. Because at each 25, we're going to be doing like a different unveil. Whether it be the man cave, Ancient Greece, Funland, stuff like that. And then the following episodes are going to be world tours. Or we'll be unveiling this during the world tour. So that is what that is. Actually, let me go ahead and turn it on to uh, hard right now. I have it on peaceful because I just hate attacking creepers while I'm doing this. So uh, let me go ahead and turn it on to that real quick and I will be right back. All right, as you can see, I just loaded into the world and I already have three that dropped in. Uh, it gets crazy. Sometimes I think the max is like six in one spot. Uh, you can already see it went up two levels. But uh, it's taking a whole minute to spawn right here for some reason. But it's pretty dark in there. Um, they're able to, you know, spawn pretty much whenever. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. And one thing I quick, quickly realized too is I'd be down here for so long I forget what time of day it is. And that's part of the reason why I built the building. But I also put this clock in just so I kind of know what time of day it is. So whenever I go up there, I'm not surprised by a bunch of just bad stuff. So that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I am really excited about the progress on this world, and uh, we have a bunch of cool stuff coming up in these new episodes, 
So I'm really excited about showing you guys. Uh, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button on this video. And if you're into books and vlogs, you should check out my other channel, Michael Vlogs. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. But thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me. If you'd like to be a part of this world, just shoot me a message or comment on this video. And we'll get you up in here. So thank you guys for watching so much. And say bye to Jeb for me.